Here's a little five tube miniature small Japanese radio. This one's labeled high tone, although uh, these came in many different brands. Here's a similar model that we featured in a previous video, a Kensington. And I just brought this one out here the other day and put a new uh, off and on volume switch on it. The uh, off and on section of the switch was broken and it wouldn't uh, wouldn't turn off. So uh, we installed a new volume. And as you can as you can see, a lot of them come in different colors and shapes. These are little small Japanese tube radios that came out in the 1960s and sold for uh, sometimes for under ten dollars. So these radios have kind of come collectible. I've seen them online quite a bit and uh, some of them go for a fair amount of money so I guess people are starting to collect these now. But uh, They come in all kind of different colors and different styles. And this one's got NEC tubes in it which these here had Futaba tubes. And anyway they're just little small five tube Japanese sets as you can see the size of my hand versus the radio is uh, pretty small. But this one won't power on. They said it won't power on. I plugged it in and confirmed there's no power getting lighting up the tube filaments or getting to the set so let's open it up and find out why and here's the little chassis here it's a standard five tube uh, radio like I said the all these in a in a row so, uh, basically what's going on is we have an open somewhere and I've just got to find the open. I did go through and check the tube filaments. Uh, all the tube filaments are good. Um, I checked the power switch, which uh, is under here. Someone has replaced this power cord. The original power cord was here. They just cut it and taped that together, so I'll need to correct that situation. And uh, our uh, power switch is loose here but it it, uh, it does show continuity so uh, even though it's uh, probably going to need a volume switch like it seems like all these radios do um, it is passing current when it's on so it is working so we got to go through here and check a few things and see if we can find our open and as you can see it's going to need capacitors because one of these capacitors had a meltdown here and was actually stuck to the bottom of this chassis and I had a hard time getting the chassis out of the cabinet so uh, we'll need to replace those capacitors these old Japanese caps are usually junk anyway so anyway let me do a little probing and see where we see where our opens at all right we got it powered up and it was due to somebody not hooking up the power of uh, this power cord correctly wasn't making continuity so we got it powered up but now we got i think we because of some of the bad capacitors we got some squealing going on when you turn off the volume Kind of sounds like it's squealing. Probably some of these capacitors leaking, so I'm gonna try to get some of these capacitors changed and see if that helps anything. If not, we'll have to try to see if we can figure out where the feedback's coming from.
from the exchanges. All right, we got all of our capacitors replaced. 2014 and 2016. Edna is not alone. Humana and United States. And it seems we got uh, most of all of our uh, motorboating and squealing is gone. So just some leaky capacitors and there for a minute I had a uh, drop in uh, amplification and uh, it seems uh, there's a loose connection in the uh, IF can the uh, secondary winding where it goes into the 12 AB6 into the grid of the 12 AB6 so we had to clear that short and uh, seems to be playing pretty loud so um, yep we're gonna I'm gonna take this cabinet here and pull the speaker on it and uh, I'm gonna clean all this crap out of the inside of it and clean up the cabinet a little bit and put it back together all right here we go got it all back in the cabinet cleaned up playing pretty good it's definitely not a DX or anything like that uh, about all it'll pick up is uh, local stations around here three main local stations and that's about it so And you got this garbage here, and the one music station. And then, you know, of course, your Jesus station. Can't go life without Jesus, so at least not around here. So that's about it. It's not... Uh, Not a real DX or, or anything like that. I think this is mainly your basic little AA5 radio. And it's about as good as it's going to get. So, anyway, just want to demonstrate it's working. So it's working, sounds pretty good, and I'm going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks for watching.